Hello everyone and welcome to our tutorial on using Lottie animations inside Framer. Let's get started. So in this tutorial we'll be using Framer and Lottie animations to build this website. All the animation has been done by our team using After Effects. We'll use the Lottie Files plugin for After Effects to upload these animations to our Lottie Files workspace. So we'll select one of our comps with the animations. We'll click on this button. We'll upload it using this upload button. We'll go inside our workspace and select our preferred folder and click upload. Now for the sake of tu this tutorial, we have already uploaded all the animations to our Lottie Files workspace as you can see right over here. So we are ready to plug them in into our Framer design. So to get started in putting our Lottie animations into the website, we'll click on the header and we'll click insert, go down into the video and click Lottie. This will insert a Lottie player where we can upload our Lottie animations. So we'll resize the component and uh, we'll resize it to fit the header section. Okay, perfect. Now we'll scroll down into the in the right bar and here you can see two options upload or URL. Now you can also upload your own Lottie files into this, but uh, we'll use URL. We'll go to our Lottie workspace and uh, we'll click on the animation that we want. We'll go to the handoff section and we'll enable asset link. So this will enable the link that we can just copy paste into Framer. Now we'll copy this link. We'll go into Framer. Uh, we'll, and we'll paste it in this URL section. And we'll click enter. Perfect. Now there are a few settings over here that are worth looking into. So playing, like do you want it uh, playing? Or do you want it static? Uh, do you want it to loop continuously? Yes. Uh, do you what kind of uh, flow direction do you want? Do you want it to be normal or do you want it to reverse? I want it to be normal. There's also a speed option. So sometimes you want to slow down or speed up the animations and you can do that over here. I want it at 1x so I'll just leave it at 1x. In the progress section you can use the slider to select where the animation starts. So upon loading the website where do you want this animation to begin from? Let's just say you want it to begin from this moment right here. So you can leave it at 79 and once you play it, it'll start off from that point. So we can see it again by reloading. See it starts off from that point. Now I want it to start from the beginning so I'll leave it as 0%. There's also a poster section. I recommend leaving it at auto. Now that the header animation is in place. We'll move on to the next part. Here is the next frame and we'll input our Lottie again using the same technique. So we'll click insert, we'll scroll down, we'll input our Lottie, we'll resize our Lottie to be in the, uh, in the same size as the frame. Now that it's in there, we'll go to our workspace and we'll select our animation. We'll copy the asset link, it's in this uh, option and uh, we'll go to Framer, we'll paste our asset link, we'll leave the rest of the settings as they are. So the next Lottie in line is this right here and it's a button. So we'll go to our Lottie workspace and here's the button. So there's something special about this button and it's that when the cursor is not hovering on it, the button will be static. As soon as the cursor hovers on it, the button will animate. So to do that, we'll copy this link, we'll enable the asset link and we'll copy it. We'll go to our framer, we'll double click on the component. Similar to last time, we'll insert a Lottie over here. We'll adjust the size and uh, 
you'll paste in the URL. Awesome. So yeah, as you can see the button animates. Now since the original state will be idle, we'll select not playing in this panel. So as soon as the web page loads, this animation will be static. But as, as soon as the cursor hovers on it, the animation should play. So for that, we'll uh, click on this hover and select hover. Okay. Now we have two variants. Both of them are exactly the same. So inside the hover variant, we'll click playing and yes. So that means that when the cursor hovers on it, the animation starts playing. To test it out, we can preview it. Now when we remove the cursor, the animation doesn't go back. So let's fix that. So to fix that, we'll go into loop and we'll click no. And as we test it, now it works perfectly. So as soon as the mouse is off, the animation goes back to its original form. Perfect. Now that this animation is in place, we can move on to the next one. And we'll do the same for the rest of the animations. Okay, so all the animations are in place. Uh, let's preview it. The animations are working. And let's try this hover one. Awesome, it works too. These look good. Okay, everything is working perfectly. So this was the tutorial on how to use Lottie animations in Framer. Thanks for watching. See you next time.